Which you guys got another video, Windows gets Linux sudo command available in 24H2. So once 24H2 has been released to the general public, you will be able to use the sudo command inside the Windows terminal, which should make things a lot easier for Windows users. You can see here we're running the new version of 24H2, and I'll show you how it works and basically how you can enable it in your operating system. So first off, let's open up the terminal here. And we're running the terminal with administrator privileges here. But if we just type sudo in here like so and push enter, you'll see it says sudo is disabled on this machine. You need to enable it in the developer settings. Let me quickly show you how we can enable uh, the sudo command for our terminal. So we're going to close terminal off here and we're going to open up our start button and go to settings. And once we get inside our settings, we'll be able to enable it inside developer tools. So let's go ahead and do that then. So let's go into system and then go down to where it says developer. You should see it here for developers. There we go. And it's somewhere there. There we go, right there. So click on that one. And once that's opened, you want to toggle that on. I'm going to say yes here. And what we're going to do is come down to where it says enable sudo. Just like so just click enable and turn it on and now you've got a little drop down arrow here which will allow you to configure how sudo uh, basically runs as an application on that system so let's go ahead and you can see it says in in a new window so basically this is going to open up in a new window if you have this option available so with input disabled and you also have inline so that's in in line with what you're doing in the actual window. So if you have a terminal window open and we type in the sudo command in that window, it will do everything you need to do in that particular window that you're running. That's called in line. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal here. And we've got this as administrator. And if we now type sudo inside here now, you will see a bunch of information come up. And it just tells you basically some of the options you have available, some of the commands, and arguments and things like that that you can do with the sudo uh, command. Now, where the sudo command comes into play is if you have a terminal window open, which isn't running as administrator, and you wanted to, say, remove something or delete something that needed administrative privileges, uh, you could do that with the sudo in front of it, and it will do that for you. Let me just quickly show you what we uh, mean here by doing this simple command here. So basically, uh, if you had, uh, say, power config here, let me just quickly uh, type this up. It's invalid. Let me just quickly type power config uh, space forward slash question mark. OK, so we can now let's just say we wanted to do one of these. Now, one of these would need, a, a, you know, an elevated uh, type of terminal window. But you can see we're running this window as just a normal user. So if I try to put... So let's disable hibernation here. And we can do that by doing power CFG space forward slash H space off. And you can see here it's saying this command requires administrator privileges to run. And that's because we're running this terminal window just as a normal user. We're not running it as administrator. So if we put sudo in front of it and went sudo space power CFG space forward slash H and then space off, you'll see this window popping up saying sudo and you can see automatically it's now done that for us without having to run this as administrator here and that's basically what this is going to be able to do so if you wanted to do other tasks that require you know administrative privileges and you're not in a administrator privilege window it will basically still do those with the sudo in front of it you can still open up applications like notepad with uh, administrative privileges here by just putting sudo in front of it just like so and that's basically it that's all it's going to be doing for you so and it's giving you like a super user power really to be able to do these things inside a normal terminal window and not running as administrator anyway but that said i think that's going to be about it that is basically the new sudo command inside windows 11 24h2 my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.